places that allow every student to have this sense of, of welcome and comfort and possibility every place. Um, and I just want you to, you know, I hope that I've gotten you thinking about some things as you go off to do your planning and stuff. I love this school. This was a 27-student school on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean in Ireland. Um, K through six, 27 kids, two teachers, and the ocean crashing on the rocks down by the door. But they were Skyping with kids in France. <laughs> um, you know, so isolated and Irish speaking, although they worked really hard to speak to us in English. Um, but as you go off into this, I'm, I actually, assuming we, we get the bandwidth going here, I have sort of a, a keynote for sectional to play. It's just videos to keep you thinking over the next day. So you don't have to pay a lot. <coughs> This all a process for me of throwing ideas out to you guys the way I think you should throw ideas out to your students and, and see what inspires people, see what kids become passionate about, see what they grab onto. Once you have a kid who's passionate about anything, you can get them home on anything. If you're not passionate about anything, you're not going to take them anywhere except eventually to the principal's office. <laughs> um, and so, I really thank you for, uh, for listening and, and being part of this. Um, um, and I'll sort of play us out here, starting with um, you know a, a classic old favorite. Um, <laughs> but I will point out that you know the crazy time period of open classrooms, and schools without walls, and whole language, and new math. Only time in American educational history that the achievement gap closed. Only that. <laughs> and it's that generation that produced the internet, Google, Microsoft, Apple, <laughs> and everything else <coughs> has created our national wealth for um, So, with that, enjoy the day. I'm going to do a follow up session down the line, so, but think, ask. Let's go. So. <laughs>